Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vesikin Kuno, as you already know. And if you didn't know, baby, well now you know when I was on period, that's when maybe had a little lamb, okay? Per. I wanted to say something, then I held myself. But yeah, hi guys. Um, so today's video, as you can see by the title above, we are doing a QA girl talk, whatever you want to call it, baby. Okay, I am here to answer all of your questions. So let's get into it. I wrote down my questions in my journal, planner, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I'm really trying to go through this video fast because there's a lot of questions and editing maybe no um disclaimer i'm at rest right now i haven't filmed a sit down video here at rest as you can see new setup do you get me so if you hear noises the walls are thin so there's nothing i can do about it baby please forgive me okay yeah next time i'll try to tell them but like you are so let's get into the first questions oh before we get into that please don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys a lot of you are watching my videos like and you are not subscribed like like what's going on child please subscribe i beg you please child like the video so it can get out to other people as well okay okay let me start let me start so um first question is what inspired you to start you who inspired you to start your youtube channel so I remember quite clearly I was I think it was a grade 11 or matric did I start my channel on matric I don't remember child but lab on you end of year um, there was a hun called an lady at school she had a YouTube channel it was cute it was cute it was given I was like Ugh, I love it I love her videos like I would always go up to her and be like when are you uploading another video do you get me yeah I liked it it was something different like something not everyone was doing like cuz we all use Instagram we all use snapchat we all use whatsapp so and then she just came up with a YouTube channel I was like mm, I like that you know and yeah um, another person who inspired me was Uzamundu there was this girl there was also another girl from school Uzamundu and her friend Ianda if I'm not mistaken they had like a YouTube channel the both of them like they were friends so it was like a friend YouTube channel it was so cute their content was just so yeah i got inspired by my peers like okay this is a new thing i could do this i was like baby i could do this this i could do it and look at me now i'm the only one standing <laughs> no offense but yeah thank you guys thank you guys for motivating me to start my channel because i wouldn't be here without you so yeah shout out to y'all um Second question is, how have you handled insecurities other people have brought to you about themselves? Um, okay, that was a deep one. How have I handled insecurities? The, the, the like, one that I can say, but, like, there's a family member of mine. I don't want to say who it is because, like, like, I don't have any thing against him it was just nice their insecurities and they haven't de dealt with their insecurities to get me so um i've noticed that she is insecure about her like skin color like skin tone so she's a dark girl name so yeah so she's always like she's older than me i shouldn't even say she like don't tell look mean but yeah so she's always like um i don't want to say imposed but in a way yeah in, uh, like encouraged me to cream not cream but like get you know products like oh pons pons makes your skin like lighter a bit it's not a, a cream it's not a skin lightening thing but bob but it does make your skin a bit lighter than it was before do you get me about cutie cura so she's always encouraged me to like um i keep touching my face and i have makeup on chill so she's always encouraging me to cream like have creams and what if you know me you know or you've seen on my channel i have great skin like genetically i've never had acne i've never had dry skin none of the above like so i did i've never had a reason to like go buy creams or have a skincare routine to get me until now that i'm older i've paid attention to it but before like when i was younger like grade 10 going up she would always like tell me like 
you should buy cool cream you should buy gentle man what gentle magic i use it now but back then my dad was so against it and my dad knew that this person had insecurities about their own skin color skin color skin tone so she always imposed that on me and i would tell my mom and my dad would be present when this happened so they always like told me not to listen to her and j and especially my mom my mom has always like told me or like encouraged me like to love my skin like yo this is a topic for another day like it's a deep topic but she's always encouraged me like Wuti, you're beautiful my mom's light skin my red kind you know so yeah that's how i dealt with it i just didn't listen sorry about that i just didn't listen child yeah and i listened to my mom she encouraged me to love myself self-love and my dad my dad always told me you were beautiful just the way you are you don't need to do all of that stuff do you get me so yeah um how to deal with friendship breakups if you've been in that situation baby this one i think i talked about it in my last video i did yeah i did and that time i was still going through that thing thing child I, I lost a like a good friend like a really good friend of mine at the beginning of the year yo how to deal with it yo i don't like i don't know if you've both like established that you guys don't want to be friends anymore like i don't know just don't be mean like just be cordial nikulu megashe as adults and Establish that okay guys you don't want to be friends anymore and as sometimes the other person doesn't want to be your friend so it's a sticky situation like you know that's how mina in my situation the person was no longer like they didn't want to be friends with me anymore like i don't want to say it like that but yeah it was that type of situation and how i dealt with it ciao i cried i cried i remember i cried but I got over it, like, it gets better. I don't know how to tell you, like, how to deal with it, honestly. Because it, it hurts just as much as, like, a relationship, you know. Oh, my God, my chain, indeed. But, yeah, man, um, take it day by day. Like, I don't know. I really don't know how to answer this question because I'm still going through that. Like, I still tried, like, yo, like, I haven't gotten over that friendship breakup. Do you get me? Like, yeah. I don't know um what advice would you give a girl who's in love with two guys yo wait, 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 wait. <laughs> baby girl i can't handle one man and when they so yo, okay how would i handle being in love with two guys damn i don't know like you know what i do because I think my grand, she's always telling me, it was Indo, they've been telling me just Fazani, not the other way around. And I never listen. I never listen. But yeah, um, I would like, Katanisa, man, see, Guti, who's, the, like, who's down for you more than the other? Like, that's how I feel. But I know you're going to choose the one that you love. But I just, I say pick the one who shows more efforts. Like, Lotanda Wena. I Wena, Otanda Wena. Obavelu yaba tanda obavi langi tu te you love with two guys sharp now who love obavi who loves you more <laughs> that's how I'm gonna distinguish it like ketaloi point blank period indo demolisa no mudo sfazan not the other way around I know I know we don't wanna hear it but it's the truth it's the damn truth okay yeah um num number I don't even know what number I'm in i'm at are you currently in a relationship or dating anyone chill and this person who asked this question knows they know i'm not in a relationship with someone but i am dating someone so yeah i'm gonna update y'all yeah i can't i'm not certain right now where this person and i are but I am seeing someone. Yeah, I'm not totally single. Now we flashing. <laughs> okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. <laughs> what gives you the ick in friendships? Oh, there's one ick that really annoys me. Like, and it's with one friend of mine. 
and I've told him before. I've told him before, but yeah, whatever. Like, I don't know how to explain this. Um, how do I explain this? Like, a city, obviously, Munungani, they're not the only friend that you have, and you're not the only friend that they have, you know? Ah, I don't want to answer this one because they're gonna know. Mm. Nah, I can't answer this one. Maybe I'll get back to it at the end of the video. Like, I, I just know that they'll know that I'm talking about them. And mm, I don't know. What would you do if a friend of yours has a crush on a guy and the guy asks you out instead of your friend? Um, a friend of mine actually have, has been in this situation. Personally, if I didn't like the guy from the jump and my friend did say that they like them i would tell the guy like no i'm sorry i can't be you know with you yo would you tell your friend though that the guy asked you out because that's gonna break them oh my god no you would have to tell your friend because at the end of the day the truth's gonna come out and it's not gonna be cute if they hear it from someone else so i'd advise you to tell your friend that that happened like the guy asked you out and yeah yeah but the thing was with girls we have common crushes i don't know if i can say that i can put it that way but like if i have a crush on someone i'm gonna tell my friend like, friend spun man you know and they also remember yes friend i wanna have a king again king Hey, just try to be adults about it. Don't like lose the friendship over a guy, you know. One comes, one goes, and you know, an hour later or something. I don't know. But yeah. Um another question. What's the best way to break up with someone? Is it okay to do it over text? No. The fact that you are asking if it's okay to do it over text, you know it's not okay. You, why? Why do you want to be that girl? Toxic. Okay, wait. 2022 is the girl is the year of the girlies. So maybe you just pull a one up on the guy, you know? But no, man, that's so toxic. Over the phone, I would die. Personally, I would hate you. Why? That's no. Don't do it over the phone like meet up with that person like tell them that you want to see them uh, yeah and talk to talk to them about it then and there don't do it over the phone yo that's the worst way you could ever break up with someone like yo you know don't do it like that meet up with them and yeah gently like yeah i feel forced to stay in a friendship because of the longevity at I hope I said that right longevity and because the friend wants to stay in this friendship but I feel like we've outgrown each other um I genuinely feel like this is what happened with me and my friendship breakup like a few months ago but it wasn't because of longevity no um try to explain to yo 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 one thing about friendship breakups you can never be certain like I'm so sorry for that noise um i think you should talk to your friend man guys communication is key like communication is key i lost a friend because of not communicating like mm, communicate with your friend tell them with you chum we are outgrowing each other like it happens it happens man like sometimes you're friends with someone like in, in high school and you guys separate go to different schools varsities you know and it doesn't work out all the time so i think you should just talk to them be like friend i don't think it's working anymore sure sure just tell them bro just tell them because now if you stay in that relationship in that friendship and you're not in it like you're not fully in it like you say you are um the friend is gonna pick up on that right and she's gonna feel as if like you're not being a true friend to them and if you just tell them the truth that you're no longer in it daily i feel like that's better yeah i'm so sorry how are academics so far are you coping 
Um, yes, I'm coping. It's the second month in, right? Yes, April. I'm coping. I'm doing just fine. Um, yeah, I'm doing just fine. It hasn't been. I can't call about Rocky. We're still doing assignments. It's still gonna like the next week. We're starting with tests. So yeah, it's still fine. Yeah, I'm coping. How did you deal with matric? How did I deal with matric? Yo, what a time. What a time to be in matric 2020. Oaks. I did not deal with it, my sister. I just, I just faced everything as it came my way. You know? You know? Yeah, it was a lot. COVID-19, this side. God, it was a lot. Like, we stayed at home for so long. And then we came back in June. August, no, June. June winter, that's what I wanted to say. Yo, it was a lot. So I don't think my experience is gonna be the same as yours. I just take it by the day. Okay. Like don't think a lot. Don't overthink, you know? Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know how to deal with matric, honestly, because my experience was totally different from everyone else I know. Like Totally. Like we still in co like we still have COVID nineteen, but my COVID nineteen was not the same as your COVID nineteen. You know, that's when it started. You know, so yeah. I don't know. Um, if my man cheated with your friend, would you tell me? So this question was asked by my friend, obviously. So. If her man cheated with one of my friends, would I tell her? Okay, ciao. Now listen, you guys are both my friends, right? Now you have, you're gonna have to like understand that both of you are my friends. Ne, and then into yako. So now me, now me, I have to lie with the burden. Child, I don't want to tie this up. Should I just take it off? Let me just take it off. So now I have to lie with the burden of betraying one of my friends and telling you, like when Bella now friendly child because in the day I am feminine. What the Lona? You teen, teen, you unfan, unfan teen. You guys, I feel like no. Personally, I I don't think I would tell you. Because now I'm also betraying one of my friends. I feel like I would have to talk to my friend. The one that's in the relationship with your boyfriend. If you guys don't know each other. Yeah. I would have to tell my friend. Which told me. One of my friends. The guy that you're dating right now is dating one of my friends. Then I'd have to see what she does about that situation. But if she does know that you guys are dating Nalindo Dale. And she. Cholas. I'm going to warn her. Let's see how you do. Spend that. Eh, I don't know. I ain't getting up. Because I would also want the same from you. Yeah, I would have to tell you. Friend, of all children in the room, I'm sorry. But I have to tell friend daughter, number one. Because when children into the room, everyone, yeah. <laughs> I hope you get me. Um... Would you be in a poly polygamous relationship? Um, child. So it's not marriage, but like it's table. So I'm um, Personally, we were just talking about this with my cousin. Hey, dog, I don't know. Like before, I would have totally been a no. Like, but now, like my perception of things has changed. Shame, I won't lie. Like the older you get, like the clear, like clearer things. No, not clearer. I'm lying. Like, the more you see things for what they truly are and not... I feel like my camera is too... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm wasting time. Okay. I don't know, but I feel like... Hmm. It would have to be a man that's truly a man. Like, in total. Like it would have to be like you know yo I would have to love you like 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 for real for real and 
you would have the guy would have to hide things from me like and fun was it about the girl yo mina with tembo what i would just see such a lot of discussion deep I don't know. I wish I had um like a background of the situation that you're talking about or the situation that you're in so that I can like yeah well but you're just saying would you be in a polygamous relationship? Child, there are so many factors. That would influence me to be in a polygamous relationship and not to be in a polygamous relationship do you get me so like if a man is truly like a daughter you know and you are benefiting in being in the relationship then not being in the relationship i don't mean like benefiting as in like money but like your well-being jay as a whole now you might be now obviously but yeah man but if it's just in G, I'm fine, G. I'm fine, especially at our ages. Like, our age, I mean, I'm sorry. No. What? Never. Nah. You would have to be a man, you know? Yeah. Are you able to tell if someone is a good kisser? Yo, oh, son. This is the end of my question. <laughs> it's me trying to avoid answering this question. I don't know, child. I've only kissed one person in my life, so I wouldn't know. And yeah. And yeah, about me, I haven't lived life, like, to the fullest. Planning to do that, but I wouldn't know. But Brad, like, you can tell if someone's table. Obviously. Hmm. I want you to make Papa Dusek Pika. Obviously, you know, like, like, as, mm been with one person so i don't black but i think i would know if someone is fucking my lips up yeah um that's the end of the video those are all my questions thank you so much guys for watching if you've come this far if you've watched this far i'd love to say thank you so much we stand up love you and for everyone who sent me the questions nan gansanda i will go sam yeah, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe I'll leave you to go like, go comment, go subscribe. I love you so much, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.